Hello world, my name is Matt, and today let's see if we can build a RESTful API in under five minutes. Uh, we're going to be doing this with Node, Express, and Mongo database. Uh, so I'm going to assume that you have Node on your machine. I'm also going to assume that you have Mongo on your machine. If not, go ahead and do those. If so, let's uh, start my timer, and let's uh, make a directory called RESTful. And let's go right into that directory there and make two files, one a package file for our uh, NPM and another file called server for our express server. And let's go into Sublime Text and start building out these two files. Of course, we're going to start with our package file, which is where we tell NPM what we're going to install for this specific build. Well, let's just give it a name of RESTful and tell it where our main file is, which is server and uh, dependencies. I have three dependencies. One, of course, Express. Let's uh, grab the latest. Uh, we're also going to be using Mongoose, which helps us do data modeling for our Mongo database. Also grab the latest. And this here is the secret sauce, which is a library called Node RESTful. Um, let's save that. Node RESTful, I found it on GitHub by a guy named Ben Algarden. And it's brilliant. It uh, makes building RESTful APIs with Node and Express uh, lightning fast. So uh, I've included it there. Let's save it. And let's do npm install. And it's going to go and grab all my dependencies and put it into my folder, my Node modules folder. Let's close our package. Let's start building our server here. Um, let's require our Express. Let's also grab our RESTful uh, library from Ben, node RESTful. And also grab Mongoose, but we're not going to require Mongoose. We're just going to extend it with the RESTful library. And let's uh, start building our Express server here. Um, I tried a couple things, but I'm trying to find the simplest way to actually get this working without a bunch of bloat code. I think this is the bare minimum of what I need here. So I need to do my express body parser and also uh, express method override. I found that if I don't have these, it will break my server. Um, so let's go connect to Mongoose or Mongo through Mongoose. Um, MongoDB localhost, and let's create a database. Let's call it RESTful. Um, I'm going to be using uh, this RESTful API to manage products. So let's make a schema for my products using our standard mongoose schema method. And let's store a name, of course, which is a string. Let's also do a SKU number as a string. And let's do a price as a number. And now let's start using the uh, node restful methods again by uh, creating a model for our products. And let's pass in our product schema from above products and define what methods we want. And we do that by passing in an array. And I want to get put, post, delete, you know the drill. And you're probably already seeing this is really easy to start making this API. And let's register it in my app at the endpoint of API, let's just say products. Now this is going to do everything else for me. It's going to, my ID, endpoints, uh, get put, post, delete requests. And let's uh, tell it to listen on 300 just for giggles. Let's just say server is running at port 3000. I'm going to stop my timer, 4 minutes 10 seconds, and this should be everything we need for this RESTful API. Let's uh, cross our fingers and start our node server. And I do have an error. Let's see, product is not defined. Product is not defined. It is now. And let's start it. 
Server is running at port 3000. Is that true? Let's go to our browser at port 3000 API products and I have an empty array. This is a good sign. Uh, I've got this great Chrome extension called Postman that I like a lot. Um, go check it out in your Chrome extensions uh, store. And uh, let's see, you got all your different HTTP requests and let's get, again, empty array. But let's post something like we normally would. Make sure our headers are right. Let's do some raw content there. My product. Remember, we also had a skew, um, which is a string, you know, because skew numbers often have strings. And we now have a price $12.75. Fingers crossed again. Let's send it and it sent something and it did work. So let's get everything in there. Let's go back over here. We now have that. Let's go ahead and do a put request, which you would assume is an update. Let's grab my ID, pass it in my URL, as you'd expect. Let's change my name to changed name and send it. And it broke something, parse. What did I do here? Oops, probably doesn't like that. And there we go, change name. Let's go ahead and delete it. Deleted, deleted from here. We have a RESTful API at API products. Life is good. Thank you, Ben, for this Node RESTful library. And thanks for uh, watching this video. If you got any questions, throw them down in the comments below. Um, Again, I'm kind of a beginner, so be easy on me, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.